Welcome to Corey's Conscious Living. Hi, my little friends. Do you love the Heidi, Cherry, and Veo stories that I make here on YouTube? If you want exclusive stories that you can't get here and you want to join the Cat Club, follow the link down below that says Cat Club Patron and you'll find out all the details about how to join the club. Enjoy the meditation, guys. Are you ready to meditate with Kari? Make sure that you've got your comfy jammies on. You're all relaxed and snuggly in your bed with your favorite cuddly so that you can let go of your busy day and relax your body and hopefully fall fast asleep. Aaron was in his bed. He had his comfortable jammies on. He'd already brushed his teeth. He took his vitamins. He would prayed. He would read his book. And normally, now would be the time when he'd listen to a meditation. Possibly with some of his bestest friends, Heidi, Cherry, and Vea. But tonight was a very special night. It was going to be Aaron's birthday soon. And Heidi, Cherry, and Vea were actually in his room having a sleepover with him. He was super excited. He was trying not to be super excited because it was nighttime and they'd already had so much fun that day together. They'd been to one of Aaron's baseball games. They'd been downtown and met new friends and just explored and had so much fun. They went with Aaron's mum and Aaron's mum got them treats. It was a really nice day. But now it was time for bed. How do you get to sleep when your bestest friends are with you and you're so super excited? It's a bit of a problem. And it was Cherry who was very excited. She was excited because it was the first time she'd ever met Aaron Snuggly, Charizard. Charizard was from Pokemon. He was a dragon. He was pretty cool. Cherry was quite smitten. She really liked it. OMG, it's just so cute. And I like his tail. And I like his colours. And I like how he looks like a dragon. I love dragons. They're awesome. They're so amazing. They're so brilliant. You know what would be really, really awesome? If we all had a Charizard. Is that how you say it? Charizard. Or do you say Charizard? Or do you say Charid? Zard? Or do you just say Charizard? I don't quite know how you say it. Aaron said, I'm sure it doesn't really matter how you say it. Thanks, Aaron. You're always so nice and so sweet and so kind. And I love being around you, Aaron. And I'm so glad that you invited us over for your birthday. And I'm so glad that we got to go downtown and have a really nice time and watch you play baseball and all that fun stuff. And I'm so, so, so glad that we get to do a sleepover. Sleepovers are very magical things, you know. Magic can happen. Especially when we're around. Right, girls? Vea looked at Cherry and said, mm -hmm. Yes, well, princesses do bring magic with them everywhere. And we always look very magical. Vea had a princess nightie on. And it had three of her favourite princesses on the front. And then it had, like, puffy sleeves and glittery bits around the neck. It was very pretty. Cherry, on the other hand, had an OMG t-shirt on and she was wishing that she'd put her OMG t-shirt on, the one with the dragon on it, that looked just like Charizard. But she didn't. She just put her black OMG t-shirt on and it just said OMG on the front. 
It was pretty cool. It was a long t-shirt, so it was like a long nighty, very comfortable to sleep in. And Heidi had just got a stripy t-shirt on that she was going to sleep in. They all were very, very comfortable. They all should have no problem falling asleep. But the problem was, Aaron was a little bit goofy and very funny. And so was Cherry. And when they got together, they were like this crazy pair. Heidi said, You know what? It was really fun reading a book with you, Aaron. Do you read books every night? Aaron said, Yes, I do with my mum. Heidi said, I like to read books every night, Aaron. I think it gives you some kind of knowledge and wisdom, even if it's just a fun story, to think about before you go to sleep. It makes it so, without even realizing, you're absorbing all of this new, interesting information. And one day, you'll probably be very, very smart. Cherry said, One day? Aaron's super smart already, aren't you, Aaron? Aaron just giggled and laughed. See? Aaron, listen, I have an idea, right? I have this idea. I think that you could probably just loan me, just for tonight, Charizard. And I can snuggle Charizard while I go to sleep. And if you don't like that idea, that's totally fine. Because I was thinking this. I was thinking you can snuggle Charizard and I will snuggle Charizard and we'll all just like curl up in a ball together and that's how we can go to sleep. I think that'd be really nice. I can kind of lay on you, Aaron, and I can lay on Charizard and you won't even notice I'm there, I promise. Heidi said, don't you think it'd be a bit squished? Cherry said, oh no, no, no. No, not at all, because I'm light as a feather. I am as light as a feather. Everyone tried to get comfortable and snuggly. Heidi was going to tell Aaron a story. So for Aaron, it felt like he was just listening to Heidi, Cherry and Vea meditation stories before he went to bed. But he had the real thing in his bedroom. So it was definitely more exciting. He was trying not to be goofy, but he kept getting this really big grin on his face and he kept laughing out loud and he didn't know why he was doing it. It was like someone was secretly tickling his tummy, but they weren't. They weren't tickling his tummy, but he felt so giddy and happy inside. He felt like it was Christmas or something. You know what it's like when you can't sleep at Christmas? This is what it felt like. But Heidi was very smart, as we all know. And she knew if she told a story, an interesting story, but also a long story, that everyone would eventually fall to sleep. So she started to tell the story. Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, in a faraway castle, there was a very, brave, but slightly goofy prince called Aaron. Aaron was tall and handsome, Vea said. Oh yes, I know that Aaron's going to be very, very tall and handsome, because he's already handsome. She smiled as she looked down at Aaron. Aaron blushed a little bit and then pulled a goofy face. Heidi carried on with the story. He was very tall and handsome, and he was known all over in the different villages for being a very friendly, very charming, but quite goofy, handsome prince. Aaron didn't ride a horse. He flew from town to town and village to village on his dragon. And his dragon was known throughout the lands as Charizard. Oh, this is so cool, said Cherry. This is so cool. I'm kind of jealous. I wish I were Prince Aaron. 
Heidi said. You can be any character you want, Cherry. It's a story. Just make believe. Close your eyes and use your imagination. You can be anything you want. Cherry closed her eyes. She closed her eyes and started to relax her body. She could hear Aaron's heartbeat because she was laid on his chest, along with the dragon, his Pokemon cuddly. Ba-bum. 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 His heart was beating, and it sounded really nice in her ear. It was like a background, soothing sound, like when you listen to waves. Ba-bum. Ba-bum. Her body started to feel super heavy and floaty at the same time. She was warm. She felt safe. She wasn't worried about anything in the world. She was in a happy place. And therefore, she started to drift off. But in the background, she could hear Heidi telling the story. And then in her mind, she was the dragon. She was flying through the sky, over the clouds, through big rain clouds, and coming out the other side all wet and refreshed and clean. She was taking big, deep breaths, and she was soaring through the sky. Her wings were big and powerful and strong, and she had a really long tail. She was Charizard, and Aaron, the prince, was flying on her back. They were flying towards a castle, a castle where they'd heard that there was a prince, another prince, Prince Heidi, that was in danger. His people had not eaten for three days. All the groceries that normally got delivered on the horses and carriages had been stopped in the road because a big giant tree had fallen down and they couldn't get past. So now the people of his village had not had food for three days because eventually all the food ran out. Prince Aaron and his handsome, brave dragon were flying to the rescue. They were flying closer and closer to the village and there were people gathered all around. Help! Please help! We're so hungry! The voices said from down below. Charizard, which was now Cherry in the dream because she was dreaming, right? Charizard, the brave and so, so strong dragon landed with Aaron on her back. They walked over to the people. Charizard, or should I say, Cherizard, puffed out a big puff of smoke and flames, and everyone in the village went, oh! and Aaron said, Don't be afraid. It's just my dragon. It will not hurt anyone. Cherry really liked that. She was brave and strong and she could burn anything she wanted to. But she didn't. Because she was just cool, calm and collected. Aaron decided that what they needed to do was move the giant tree that had fallen on the path there in the village. All the men in the village, including Prince Heidi, had tried to move the log, but they couldn't. It was a redwood tree, and it must have been hundreds of years old, and it must have been as big as two or three houses. But Cherryzard could do it. With Aaron's help, of course. 
Aaron climbed on the back of his dragon. They flew up. They flew down towards it. And Cherizard wrapped her arms around the big giant boulder. Her arms were almost all the way around this giant redwood tree. And she huffed and she puffed and she blew out flames with the sheer effort of trying to pick up this giant, giant, giant tree and lift it off the path so that the horses and carriages could get through with all the food for the village. It was not budging one bit. Now, this dragon, Cherry, was so strong, so strong, the strongest dragon in the world. I'm the strongest dragon in the world, she was thinking in her mind. How come I can't move this big giant boulder? Oh no, what am I going to do? All the villagers are going to be so disappointed. She started to get very, very, very upset. She wanted to be perfect. She wanted to do it right. She didn't want everyone to think that she'd made some kind of mistake. She knew it wasn't a mistake. In her mind, really, she knew it was just a matter of muscles. But this still made her feel like she'd made some kind of mistake. Like she wasn't good enough. Like she'd made a mistake and people would think that she wasn't perfect. And if she wasn't perfect, she wasn't this super strong, brilliant, brave dragon anymore. She was someone that had made a mistake. Ugh. Aaron rubbed between her nostrils, her big dragon nostrils. She could feel him rubbing and calming her down. And Aaron said, It's okay. Don't you worry. You are awesome. And it's okay to make a mistake. Everyone makes mistakes. It doesn't mean they're not awesome. It doesn't mean they're any less perfect. The world is about making mistakes. That's how we learn. We learn from our mistakes. And we're brave and strong and goofy. And we can get through this. Cherry. Well, Charizard. Well, Cherizard. Thought about this. She knew she was smart. She knew she was awesome. And she knew that Aaron was right. Sometimes you just make mistakes. Don't take it so personal. Don't take it so hard, she thought to herself. Just let it go. Just let it go. And that's exactly what she did. And as soon as she let it go, and she got chilled out, and she relaxed and thought, it's okay, maybe there's something different I can do. Pop! In her mind, like a popping balloon, was an idea. A brilliant idea. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant idea. She looked around and told Aaron her idea. And Prince Aaron shouted down to the people, Everyone clear back to your houses. Clear back to the village. Go and move far away from this log. We're gonna burn it. Prince Heidi thought that that was a brilliant idea. And he gathered everyone around and they all started to walk back to the village. Far away from the log. Aaron flew up to the sky. He chose the perfect distance. And then he tickled and scratched between his giant, brave, awesome dragon's nostrils. That was the signal. Go ahead, he said. Cherry Zard blew the biggest, biggest, biggest flame ball anyone had ever seen. And it hit the giant tree perfectly. The giant tree had no chance. It smoked and cracked 
and crackled. The smoke was dark and grey and it was coming up towards them, so they flew to a different part of the sky. The tree burned so fast because Cherizard's flames were so powerful and strong. It only took like five minutes before all that was left was just dust. Dust on the path. That was it. They flew over the village and shouted down that it was safe to come and get the food. All the villagers came out. One of the villagers was very cute. She was clearly a princess. She was dressed like a princess. She had a nightie on with puff sleeves and glittery things around the neck with three princesses on the front. Vea smiled with her eyes closed. She knew that Heidi was talking about her in the story. She was such a pretty princess. And she was running towards the horses, helping people carry food back. Eventually, the horses with the food carriages and all the people carrying the food got back to the village and they shared it out equally. And everyone was happy. A job well done. And Prince Aaron and his famous dragon, Cherizard, flew away, off to another adventure, somewhere to help someone, I'm sure. The End Now, Heidi looked around. Aaron was asleep, snuggling Cherry and his dragon, Charizard. Cherry was fast asleep. She'd been asleep ages. Vea was sleeping. Heidi laid back on a big, soft, comfortable pillow. She closed her eyes. And drifted off into a sweet, sweet dream. The End